Well, police arrested a St. Cloud man for allegedly sexually abusing two young girls for years. The man was a close family friend who even lived with them for quite a while. We told you at 4 that police want to know if there are any more victims. And new at 5.30, Channel 9's Angela Jacobs back live with us in Osceola County. Angela, you talk with police who say they found pictures of the victims on the suspect's computer. And Greg, because that suspect allegedly had access to these children over several years in different states, investigators are still combing that computer to see if any other crimes were committed. It destroys you from the inside. And I'd hate for anybody to ever have to feel like they've failed their children. This mother, whose identity we're protecting, wanted to share her family's heartbreaking story in hopes another family doesn't share the same allegations that she and her family has involving 46 year old Jan Toth. I do find that proof of guilt is evident or presumption great. She says Toth, seen here facing a judge this past weekend, was a trusted family friend until his arrest last week on charges he abused two of her daughters aged 8 and 13. We just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anybody else out there who had been extremely trusting towards this man with small children. According to this report, the girls told police Toth, who often babysat them at this St. Cloud area home, said if they wanted to stay up past bedtime, they had to do things for him. Among more than 30 alleged incidents of sexual abuse over several years, one of the girls told police Toth made her promise she would never tell. Police say Toth admitted the girls were being truthful about their allegations, then requested an attorney. Question everything. Be careful about who you trust. As she focuses on her family's healing, this mom cautions other parents. I just never thought it'd be us. Never thought that we'd be sitting in the situation that we're in now. And we found Toth was also accused of similar crimes here in Osceola County 18 years ago, but he was acquitted by a jury. The mother in this case says she is still rocked by the fact that she says there were no warning signs in his behavior toward her children. Reporting live in Osceola County at the jail, Angela Jacobs, Channel 9, Witness News.